this is a day 13 on site. Well, not quite on site. I'm on route to site. It's now five past eight in the morning. The riggers are expected to be on site at about nine o'clock. The weather that we're having at the moment isn't necessarily conducive of the guys rigging and what have you. Uh, any winds over around 20 to 25 kilometers an hour mean that it isn't safe for the riggers to climb up onto the tower. There's probably still about 30 or 35 meters left of the tower and uh, this should be the final day that the guys are going to be climbing up onto the tower to dismantle the sections by hand that is. On Wednesday a big crane should be coming out and the crane should take the balance of the tower down probably in about two or three sections. They've booked the crane for nine hours so hopefully within those nine hours the entire balance of the tower will be down. What's left? Uh, probably in about a week or two's time a TLB should come in, clear the site, knock the old ATU buildings. ATU is an uh, antenna tuning unit. The transmitters don't sit next to the tower. They sit in a building probably about 300-400 meters away. They all sit together. Then each transmitter is connected to the tower via a coaxial cable which is buried underground. But before the coaxial cable links onto the tower, it goes through an antenna tuning unit because the characteristics of the cable do not match the characteristics of the tower. In a previous edition of Gavin Buckle Live, I told you that the tower isn't going to be 106 meters. The tower is going to be 126 meters. The reason is when ICASA, which is the regulator for radio spectrum in South Africa, invited people to apply for licenses, there were two licenses available in Gauteng. So basically two allocated frequencies. One was 702 kilohertz and the other 540 kilohertz. LM Radio were successful in their bid and another station was successful in their bid to get the 540 kilohertz frequency. So if it was only LM Radio, it would have been 106 meters. But considering the other station is on 540 kilohertz, which in actual fact should be 138 meters, they're reaching a, a happy medium, let's call it that, of 126 meters. And so we turn around. I've just received a call from Bix van der Berg, who is the project manager for communications technology broadcasting for this particular project. And he said, uh, due to the weather, obviously due to health and safety issues, the riggers are not able to climb up onto the tower today. Well, this morning at any rate, it's raining in uh, springs and they might go onto the tower, but only much later on this afternoon. So if they do, I will let you know.